So a lot of people have different reasons as to why they would never vote Hillary Clinton. She's a lesbian! A lesbian! Whoa, hey! Hey, these are nice people. These are nice people. Now, we know that many of you have countless reasons as to why you can't stand Hillary Clinton. But in creating this list, we had to weed out uh, some of the issues that would be exclusive to the right, like pro-life issues or LGBTQ AAIP issues versus the left, like her donations from banks, in order to try and create a simple master list of gripes that people can universally have with presidential candidate Hillary Clinton. Number one, she's a liar. And I don't mean like kind of a liar, I mean possibly a sociopath. You can start with the big ones, the obvious ones, like blaming Benghazi on a YouTube video after the fact, when we know that to be false. Or, uh, of course, the email server. Those are obvious. But when I say sociopath, or, or at the very least, a compulsive liar, what we point to are lies that are made constantly that don't really matter when people aren't paying attention. But she lies anyway. Like claiming Chelsea Clinton was jogging around the World Trade Center on 9-11. That was a lie. Like claiming that she landed under sniper fire in Bosnia, just like Brian Williams' helicopter story. That was a lie. Like her claiming that she was named after Sir Edmund Hillary uh, because he was one of the first people to climb Mount Everest. That's a lie. Uh, Edmund Hillary did not climb Mount Everest until Hillary Clinton was six years old. So either she has a DeLorean or she's a compulsive liar. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. And, and it ranges all the way to her claiming that she was dead broke when they left the White House, even though they were multi-millionaires, or claiming that she was instrumental to the peace process in Northern Ireland, despite people there saying she was nowhere to be seen. Here's the thing, we all know about the big lies, right, that have been covered in the press, but what about all of these other lies that she makes constantly when she doesn't even stand to gain that much? That's a compulsive behavioral pattern. Let's go to number two. Hillary Clinton is anti-woman. I know, the irony, right? The first possible female president hates those with uteruses. Uteri? Not only does she believe that women are incapable of paying for their own birth control or being responsible for their own sexual actions and or employment, but she deliberately intimidated and suppressed women with whom not only her husband was having affairs, we all know about that, but unwilling participants in sexual assault cases against her husband. Sure, you all know about Monica Lewinsky or Jennifer Flowers. You probably don't know all of these names. Bill Clinton was an absolute sexual predator. This was ongoing, and Hillary Clinton knew about it. Hey, Hillary! She's a dyke! I know, I know! But again, we're not just talking about an intern underneath the desk. We're talking about women who weren't even in on the gag. Hillary Clinton made sure they went away. Oh, hashtag you're with her? You're an accessory to rape. Which brings us to kind of the same point, but we thought it required its own separate point. Hillary Clinton defended a child rapist and laughed about it. <laughs> yes, really. References available at louderwithcrowder.com. This is the kind of twisted evil from the Clintons that has Satan shuffling papers in hell saying, I, I, we don't even have an area to process this. HR is not equipped for this. PC load letter? What the f does that mean? 12 year old girl raped in Arkansas. Hillary Clinton, who was recorded on audio tape, acknowledged that she was aware of her client's guilt and is even quoted as saying, He took a lie detector test. I had him take a polygraph, which he passed, which forever destroyed my faith in polygraphs. Clinton says in the recording, failing to hold back some chuckles. Speaking of rape culture, number four, Hillary Clinton has taken unbelievable sums of cash in foreign donations to the Clinton Foundation. Not only could this potentially be illegal, but if you look at the list of countries with whom she has a cozy relationship for a woman who claims to be a champion of women's rights, they don't really have a stellar track record with women's rights, gay rights, or rights rights. Some countries that gave massive multi-million dollar sums to the Clinton Foundation include Saudi Arabia, UAE, Oman, Qatar, Cater, however you say it, Kuwait, Algeria, and more. I know that all politicians have some money coming in from unsavory characters, but it pales in comparison to the way Clintons have handled their money and foreign donations. It's the backbone of their platform. Which brings us to our final reason for people both left and right to despise Hillary Clinton. She is a crony capitalist, hypocrite, quintessential establishment politician 
defined. Not only does she compulsively lie about matters that concern national security like Benghazi or email servers, not only as we've covered does she continually lie about issues that don't matter, like her name or her daughter jogging around the towers on 9-11. Not only does she hold herself out as the beacon of women's equality and feminism while she simultaneously suppresses, intimidates, and silences voices of the victims of sexual assault on behalf of her husband. Not only does she defend a child rapist, not only does she get money from all of the big banks and countries that want to kill all the gays and the Jews and the America. Not only was she a Republican until she was a Democrat, not only was she a lesbian until she needed to be straight to run for office. I told him his wife was a dyke. No! Yeah! Sorry, scratch that one. Obviously Hillary Clinton is not a lesbian. <laughs> it's just confusing to keep track because she was so rapidly against gay marriage until she all of a sudden became passionately for gay marriage. Not only is... Well, I guess that's a lot of not onlys. That's enough of not onlys. When you put them all together, um, I guess only that. No wonder even far leftists and Bernie supporters or Susan Sarandon herself can't get on board with the hashtag I'm with her train. So let's reappropriate that hashtag. Let's change it to hashtag I'm with a compulsive lying child rapist defending sexual assault victim silencing big bank and foreign donation money taking flip flopping angry lesbian sociopath who may not really be a lesbian. Just so we're covered legally. His wife is a dyke. Hey, if you like this video, all the references are at louderwithcredder.com. You can go there by clicking my face or subscribe with the button below. Two videos next to me. You have to click at least one of them, though. Otherwise, you might go the way of Vince Foster. Ooh, who's Vince Foster? Run a Google search.